This is uh, Toby I Asteroid. It's a traditional asteroids arcade game whereby you just look at the asteroids and uh, you shoot the asteroids down to save the Earth. I'm going to try it out right now. So just by looking at the asteroids here, I'm actually shooting them down. It feels like I'm controlling the game with my mind, although I'm actually controlling it with my eyes. Yeah, there you go. It's pretty fun, actually. That was Wall Street Journal reporter Sven Grunberg playing video games on the job. He's actually also using a new technology as the wave of the future. Welcome to Digits. I'm Simon Constable. And guess what? We actually have Sven Grunberg joining us now from Stockholm. Sven, uh, that looked like a hell of a lot of fun. Yeah, playing uh, asteroids with your eyes is uh, it's it's pretty fun. It's a cool experience. As I said when I was doing it, it really does feel pretty remarkable. It feels like you're controlling the computer with your by thinking only, although you're actually controlling it by looking at the at the stuff that's happening on the screen. And playing games on the job has got to be a good feeling too. Tell us about the technology uh, that makes this possible. Uh, well, it's it's eye tracking technology. It's been around for some time. Um, I mean, it's been around in military for for a long time, um, but now it's it's uh, it's slowly emerging out of of these niche sectors um, because the technology is becoming much cheaper, and uh, so so it's now gradually coming into to consumer electronics, and it uses uh, infrared light to track um, the, the your eye sockets basically and 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 it can detect then exactly on the millimeter where on the screen that you're looking and it has many different kind of applications and and use uh, cases now what is the what is the industry saying about this are they saying this is an obvious thing that will be a part of our everyday life or is it a little more complicated than that I mean, it's it's always a bit complicated with technology and 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 predicting what what will become of of, uh, of new technology. But definitely, I think a lot of uh, a lot of industry players are saying that that we're going to use our computers and we're going to use um, uh, uh, computers in a totally different way than we do today. And and eye tracking is one possible way that we that we will actually be interacting with computers in the future. I mean, you have voice commands coming as well. Apple's Siri and Google has. Um, a lot of voice commanding in their Android dev devices, and, and then you have uh, Microsoft's Kinect body motion detector. Uh, so there's there's a lot of stuff there coming, and in the future, people are betting that, um, uh, or a lot of companies are betting that we we won't be using the keyboard and the mouse anymore. Now, um, one of the things we know is that you you mentioned it was it's used in the the, the military and in, and in and the, the space projects we used it, but also healthcare has used it too. Now, one of the things I find interesting here is that the the way the price has come down quite quite dramatically, one tenth of the price over just the last five years. Um, can we expect it to be even cheaper? Yeah, for sure. Um, uh, the company, the Swedish company that I've been talking to, one of the pioneers within eye uh, tracking technology, they say that uh, within a year or so, the, um, an eye tracking device that you put under the screen of your computer will will be, um, I mean, affordable. Um, uh, they didn't give me any any price ranges, but but uh, it will be affordable as as anything that anyone could go down to to the consumer electronics store and pick up and and, and buy. Um, no, no, Sven. What so yeah. Well, one of the things that I'm thinking about when you play in a video game, if you get distracted by something like in your field of vision and your eyes move, it doesn't really matter. It's a video game. But what if you were doing something like, um, you know, with healthcare where it really mattered or in the military and you, your eyes get distracted? Couldn't that be a major, major problem? Well, I mean, if you're distracted and you press the wrong button, that's also a major problem. Usually, um, usually you don't you don't think about what you um, what you look at, um, and surprisingly, what you look at is what you're focusing on. And um, so it works pretty accurately. I used it with a computer, and and um, it's not like you have to sit there and and really look at something for it to work. It's it's it feels pretty natural. And well, of course, uh, people press the wrong buttons, and and people are going to look at the wrong things. Okay, well, let's hope they uh, iron that out one way or the other. Thank you very much, Sven Grunberg of the Wall Street Journal in Stockholm. We appreciate your time today. Yeah, bye, Simon. And you can read more on that on WSJ.com. I'm Simon Constable.